Okay, I chose to mount my Spyderco controller card in the back of my uh, electronics box. Um, you can see it's pretty full in here. So the spot that I picked is right below the card cage. And just put a couple holes through the case. The wiring of this unit, um, pretty straightforward. Uh, there, were, there were a couple things that I had to um, double check. Generally, um, you connect up 110 volt power right here, and you have the wires that are coming in from the servo unit in the front, uh, and let's see, no, this is the servo unit, and this is the um, encoder wheel, the little knob that's um, mounted in my control panel. So those two are pretty straightforward. Just run the wires from those devices and plug them in here. These um, four wires here and these two wires were the ones that you have to figure out in order to get this thing the information it needs to keep track of what tool it's on. And if this thing was on right now, these lights here would be lit up showing which was the current tool. Um, there are four wires here. Two of them come off of uh, a relay that says whether or not the carousel is turning clockwise or counterclockwise. In the case of the Miltronics, it's really very simple. Um, the K22 relay um, flips um, for for one of the directions of motion. Um, and then the other the other set of the other set of wires here um, are going to a sensor that says the tool is on position, meaning that the carousel is positioned at a particular tool. So every time it moves away from one tool as it's turning around getting ready to position for another tool that signal either goes positive or or, or true or false. Um, then the uh, figuring out how to wire those two things wasn't too complicated um, but I did have to go um, onto this big bus here and find wires find a connection for 24 volt uh, bus power and that that went into another pin here which is used in the in the uh, for for the spider call to know whether or not a tool change is happening or whether the reset button is being pressed yeah I'm not expecting anybody to follow all that but I just wanted you to have a general understanding that those were that was the level of complexity involved here of basically connecting three sets of wires. So um, the rest of these, this one here, uh, as I said before, runs to the encoder up front. So I'll take you around up front and show you what I'm talking about here. Um, I, I did show in another video. So this that bundle of wires comes to this knob and in the case of in, in how I wired it up it ran through where the rest of the cabling goes which is up through this this box and up across the top and into the back of the machine other than that there is another cable that comes off the back side of the spider cool um, nozzle unit and you can see it here on my machine right here it's coming off the back of the unit and I run it up through a hole in the bottom of the head and it goes on up through and across in the back where all the wire wire train goes and I think that's about it when it comes to wiring. You have a little switch that you have to flip here to put the spider coil into a mode where it, it it's in a learning mode and you use the uh, encoder to teach it 
things like how many tools you have, in my case 20 tools, um, what tool number to start on, where you are right now, which is usually just zeroed, and or, uh, put it at tool one, and a couple parameter, timing parameters and things like that. Now generally that's all that's involved in the installation of the, the Spider Cool Electronics.